Hey guys, welcome to um, something a little different for my channel. You will see that this is real life, this is not a video game, and I am inside of a house, and here is my dog. Um, so, a while back I moved, I'd say about two years ago, I moved up about an hour north of the city. Uh, Toronto is the city in question. And look at Bubba, look how cute. <laughs> and um, I didn't like it up there, or up here, I guess, because I'm still here. Uh, it was way too quiet, so I decided to move back to the city. So I got a new place in the city, and this is it. It is a bit of a project, as you can see. Um, but I'm hoping you guys will enjoy this video, and and I'm gonna. I'm, this is a massive renovation, and I'm hoping that you guys will come along for the ride and experience all the trials and tribulations that are associated with renovating a house. So here's me walking through. Now I'm I'm doing this voice recording after the fact because the the echo was just so bad in there. I did a first run through and it sucked. So I had to do it again. I'm doing a voiceover now. I didn't talk or anything. Um, that's this is the kitchen. You just you just saw like the entrance room. I guess the reception room. I don't know what you call it. This is the kitchen slash dining room area. And as you can see, it uh, the good thing about this house are the floors. The floors are pretty good, but. 90, probably 90 to 95 percent of the things you see in this place will be replaced. Look at these cabinets. If the previous owners ever see this video, I want you to know that I'm not mad, I'm disappointed, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm sure at, at some point in time, this kitchen was like state of the art, top of the line. It's a nice kitchen. Everybody enjoyed the kitchen, but it's time to move on. Here is what I think is referred to as a mud room basically leads to the outside it's got holes in the ceiling that I guess maybe he was planning on putting some lights and never put up um, again this is like an extension that they added so the original house stopped right where that wall was and so this is an extension and uh, again it's got those are gloves and bags by the way I was doing some gardening that's right I was gardening um, yeah it's uh, it's pretty the original thing that drew me to this house was not this bathroom. This bathroom is in rough shape. But again, it's been used. This is a 100 year old home, guys. So, and I think this part of the extension is 20 to 30 years old. So yeah, it's got some, uh, it's got some age to it. Um, but the original thing that drew me to this house is that wood burning fireplace or stove or oven. I don't know what you want to call it. So I guess it's not an oven, right? I saw that in the pictures and I thought, that is pretty cool. I want that. Bubba likes it too. Look at him. Look at that butt. <laughs> that Bubba butt. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm not even sure I'm going to keep that that thing though because it's in really bad shape inside. Like all the um, walls and stuff are crumbling inside of that thing. So I'm probably going to toss it out, unfortunately, which is kind of cool. I really like it. There's a ceiling fan too. Um, yeah, so... That, that door also leads to the outside. Let's go upstairs and have a look real quick. Here we are upstairs and um, this place, oh man, that bathroom, you guys, you guys, you, you whoo, stick around for that bathroom. Uh, so here's the first bedroom. It's really, really, really small. Floors are squeaky. Uh, this thing was a bed. It's built into the wall because um, they, I don't know why actually. I, I think it has to do with the fact that the stairs run right underneath. There's drawers too. Storage. Mm. <laughs> but that's all going to be taken out. Like I said, 90 to 95% of the things you see are going to be removed. There's my front yard. It's pretty nice. I won't show you the front of the house, by the way, because people are crazy on the internet. Um, so yeah, this is it. I've got a little mirror there. Left us, left me a mirror. That's nice. Oh, even the, even the light switches are like really, really old. Here's bedroom number two, again with the parquet floor. The carpet, by the way, as you'll see, is a uh, pretty terrible looking. But again, it, I'm sure it was nice at the time. I definitely do not mean any disrespect to the previous owners. Here's where the wires have been run outside of the walls, and that's because the walls are old and they didn't want to dig into... It's problematic to place wires through the walls in this old of a house. So I don't blame them for doing that. Um, there's a closet with the carpet inside the closet, which is an interesting decision. I'm not sure why that was done. I don't know what that is either. It's just a, like a, a scuffy floor thing. These stairs go up to the attic, which is a finished attic, by the way. You guys will see in a second. Here is the master bedroom. Now, 
eventually, this master bedroom is going to be cut in half. It's kind of a big room. It's going to be cut in half, and one half is going to be the third bedroom, then the other half, plus a bit of an extension that I'll be building on top of the current extension. This is all very complicated. <laughs> uh, the, that other half is going to be my master bedroom. They left me the... Look at the lighting here, too. They got, like, spotlights. It looks like almost like stage lighting. Um, right off of the master bedroom is the laundry room. <laughs> I guess it's convenient, right? It is very convenient. That's where the old wall was. As you can see, there's brick inside. And then the little part that we're standing in is already the current extension that the owners put on it. Um, that has never been wired. There's my yard. My yard is my fa is the favorite part. That's the only thing probably that won't be touched is the yard. It's the favorite part. It's my favorite part of this house. I can't I can't English today. Uh, lots of storage in here. The washer dryer. I'm not even sure if they work. I'm gonna have to test them. Uh, but yeah, that is the current master bedroom. There's a roll of paper towel too on the floor. I'm not sure why that is. The closet's a decent size. It's not like a big one. There's a hole in the wall here too. I don't know why. There was something here and it's been removed. I don't know. Here is the bathroom. <laughs> oh my lord. Just take this in. Take it in. Let it let it sink in, guys. It's not Honestly, this is probably like in the 80s. This is probably like one of the best bathrooms ever. <laughs> Maybe not ever, but this is a really good bathroom. There's a bidet, something that North American people will not be very familiar with. It's supposed to wash your nether regions. Uh, but there's the tub. The tub's got all kinds of jets. There's marble. I think it's marble. I don't know what material this is. I'm not great with that kind of stuff, but it's everywhere. And this is all going to be removed. In fact, this bathroom is not going to exist anymore. It's going to be a hallway. There's so much work. Anyway, let's uh, walk up these steps here real quick. As you can see, carpet throughout. Wood paneling on the walls. And there's some more parquet floor in the attic. So, this is the attic. It's like a couple of spare rooms all, into, all bundled into one. Um, again, the parquet floors, all the switches, by the way, like the light switches and the out of the, the, what are they called, holes, as Seinfeld fans would know them as. They're all sideways and not upright for whatever reason. Usually in houses, they're always upright. Squeaky floors. This is also going to be replaced. This is probably where my office is going to be, quite honestly, because I have a nice view of the yard from that window. I got lots of room up here for desks and computers and shelves and all kinds of stuff. But at least the attic is finished. And there's a skylight here too, man. If I put my desk right underneath there, that's going to be nice. It does get really, really hot though. I'm worried about that. Um, there's the yard with all my trees. Oh man, I have so many trees. I love it. Now some of you are thinking that's a huge yard and some of you are thinking that's a tiny yard. It always, it, uh, it just depends on where you from, where you're from. Like in Toronto, that's a big yard. Um, but if you're out in the country and you see that, you're like, eh, that's a really tiny yard, guy. Look at all the wood paneling. Uh, let's go to the backyard and take a look at uh, at the backyard. Here we are at the sliding doors, and this is my ultra high tech security system. Actually, the doors lock. I'm not sure why the owners decided to put a stick here. I think it's just extra security, but the doors actually do lock, as you can hear me clicking the door open. Uh, Bubba's really fascinated by that security system. He's like, oh, it was a stick. <laughs> that, thing, that little security system, that's my entertainment system. Um, so here's the deck. Massive, massive deck. Half of it's gonna be removed, maybe all of it, because I'm gonna put a driveway. This, this house is no garage. I have to build a garage and yeah, Bubba's just exploring. And uh, it's going to go in the back there in the corner. And this deck right here is going to be a driveway to get there. It's kind of hard to visualize. But I'm hoping you guys stick around and experience this whole thing with me. I don't even know how often these videos will be up. I just know that whenever something major gets done, I'll go in there and I'll record it. Maybe I'll even record myself and the guys working on it. I'm going to try to do some stuff on it. Like demolition, I think I can handle. There's the deck. I think they had an above ground pool or something. The deck is sort of like curved and you got this patch of grass which is dead and it's like a circular patch so I think it might have been a pool. There are all my trees. I have really nice trees. I'm gonna try to save as many of them as possible. 
Don't think I'll have to chop down any tree except for one directly in front of the shed. Look at Bubs. I'm pretty sure. There he is. <laughs> He's excited. Uh, he actually really likes this yard. The current yard that I have is really tiny. He doesn't need much space. He gets tired really quickly, but look at him. Look at him. He's so happy. He's just exploring. Yeah, he really likes uh, he really likes this yard, and I'm glad about it. I do have one problem though. There's a cat that comes around, and a couple times I thought Bubble was gonna get clawed in the eyeballs. He did not, luckily. And right shortly after I recorded this video, the cat showed up again. He didn't show up while Bubble was here though. Hey, watch, watch this. Look at him. He still pees like a little girl, like a little female dog. Bubba does not pee like a boy dog. Oh, that's speed. Anyway, back to the yard. Um. So, all, all of this is going to remain unchanged, pretty much. Uh, the deck is going to be replaced, though, with a new deck. There's a pile of wood underneath that tarp there that I asked the owner to leave because it's, like, old wood that maybe I could do something with, but I don't know. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. We'll see. I might end up throwing it out. Uh, I think he's getting ready to, let, like, drop a deuce. There's the back of the house. Big yard. Lots of space for Bubba to dream about running around in because he won't really do that much running. It does need a little maintenance. Yard needs to be replaced. Anyway, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tour. Bubba's about to take a poop, as you'll see. Uh, s s <laughs> there he is. Uh, stick with me for the ride. I think it's going to be exciting, and I hope you like it.